walk from there to here slowly. Here? No, 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 just Wait. by you. Like you're, oh, you're walking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now everybody's gonna watch you. Like no, just normal okay. walking. So with walking, okay, of course we have to help with the clearance of the foot, right? So lifting, lifting can help. And rotation, the hip rotates when he walks, right? So rotation, we have rotation components. Also, we have the little bit weight shifting, side bending. So it's actually three plane. We have the X, Y, and Z, okay? Z, the, the frontal, the horizontal is the rotation part. And sagittal is the lifting part. And the frontal, the frontal is the, the weight shifting side. So you have to take care of all three components. Weight shifting is to help with the frontal trans translation, right? And then tra transaction, okay? And then this rotation is the horizontal. And the sagittal, we do this kind of just a little bit tactile cueing, like this one to activate the hip flexors. It takes a little bit of skill, it take, takes a little bit of practice to be a good facilitator like he did today. He, he did a good job today, but it takes more <laughs> sensation and, and feedback and practice to facilitate all three motions. It's definitely not an easy, an easy job to do that. So when he walks, we're gonna side, weight shift into the side and then lift with my finger and then also push with my hand forward. The way to do weight shifting, I can help by walking with the same rhythm with her, with her, with the patient. If she moved the left leg, I move the left leg. That way I'm doing weight shifting with her. Yeah, you notice whenever I walk with the patient, I always walk with the same pace. Yeah, and then also lift and rotate. And that reminds me another thing. When you're walking with one person, only we do we, we I usually walk on this on this weak side of the patient so always work on the involved side of the patient and we can do the weight shifting by walking the same pace okay and then we can do the clearance by kind of like lifting the shoulder a little bit but the rotation part usually I go like this way with my elbow so if you're looking behind I'll be like Okay, like this, my elbow is like this. So I'm doing like external rotation of my shoulder to facilitate this hip to go forward. If that's still not strong enough, usually I kind of like help either with the foot or with my knee. So I can go like this way, like this, like this, okay? Yeah, so there are different ways to facilitate a walking if you are by yourself. And that should be like very easy with this kind of techniques like I told you guys before you can walk any patient any patient even just someone had a stroke all right good job guys